I want to show you some awesome ways to find fonts if you are looking to match a specific font. Maybe you found some old advertisement like in this case there's an old manual. Um, there's a couple ways. One's uh, you probably already know about if you don't. Let's see where did I put it here. Here's the application called Fontbook. If you don't know about this, this should also already be on your computer, but uh, what you can do, let's say I want to match this font here, so I'll type in all caps, radio, and here you can see I already found one that looks similar. You can increase the size, and uh, it scrolls through all the fonts on your computer if you want, so scroll back up to the top and <clears throat> just push the down arrow and you can quickly look at several fonts so let's say you're you, you want a font that looks you know maybe you're using numbers and I don't know 1940s font then you can quickly scroll through and wait till your eye catches one that you think okay that looks right or one that you like anyway it's pretty good you can save groups of fonts in here if you're working on a specific uh, project and you want to uh, remember which fonts you picked anyway so font books good but another good one let's say you you want to find this exact font here you like the way the uh, the characters uh, are, for whatever reason, you want to match it as perfect as you can. There's several websites that are really good. Um, let's see, it's in Chrome. Okay, Identifont is a, a fun one to use. Um, this is if you know, you know, if you know part of the name. The different search tools. Here's a one that I'll show you here on this column. So it starts off, do you know the characters, uh, do the characters have serifs? If you don't know what a serif is, it's these little tags that hang off. That's uh, sans serif or no serif, and that's serif. So this one does not have serifs, so I'll click no. And it goes on and it keeps asking you questions. Uh, does it have a tail in the queue? I don't see any queues here at all. So I'll just click not sure. And there's no dollar signs in it, so I can't compare. There's no numbers in this font. Um, M's. How high is the center of the M? Let's see. It's asking for an uppercase M. I don't see any M's. So again, we'll click not sure. G, uppercase G. No G's, not sure. Uppercase J. Uh, I don't see any J's. Not sure. No question marks. Again, G's don't have any, no uppercase M's, uh, no uppercase J's. Okay, <clears throat> lowercase a, what style is it? So there it is, it's this style, so we'll click on that. Here it starts um, narrowing them down, so you can keep going. Uppercase P, there isn't any uppercase P. Usually R's and P's are very close, so you could click on this one if you wanted, because I know it's not going to be one of these. Uppercase Y, there's none of those. Uh, lower case U, does it have a stem? Let's look for you. Nope, no stem. Uh, let's see here. And it tells you now there's 491 possible fonts so far. Uh, not sure about the three. Uppercase W, again, not sure. There's nothing to go by. Uh, outlined or solid. Well, they're solid. Uppercase G, G is pretty good at identifying. Okay, does the I? Again, there's no uppercase I, so we just do not sure. K's, none of those. TH, uh, let's see, are the strokes upright? Yep. What shape is the lowercase L? It's got to be an L. Yeah, it's just a straight line. Does not have a tail or a serif. Now we've already narrowed it down to 252 fonts. So uppercase E, uh, normal shape. Yeah, it's, it's nothing goofy about it. It's 
we'll click that. R. There's an R and it's closed. So we'll click that. Suitable for body text. Yep, it's readable. So now we're down to 30 possible fonts. Here's all of these in case you made a mistake. Here's everything I've answered so far. Um, let's see. Uh, an I, a lowercase I. One that's asking about the little circle on top. Yep, it's a circle, not goofball like those. So click I, down to 17 fonts. The T's, there's a T. It's a straight T, not a curved. E's, it's a straight line on the E, down to six fonts. Now there's no W's again. There's no pound signs. And the strokes, it, you know, sometimes you might not care. You know, I'd go with curved or flat. So um, you can keep going and narrow it down if you want to keep answering questions down to a very specific font. And it'll give you, okay, here's popular matches. So it looks like Futura's. Um, a good match for it and it tells you uh, all about it so it's a, an adobe type so I, a font so I probably already have it and I'm pretty sure I do I recognize the name so I'll go back here and let's see let's turn on let's give it a working layer I'll type in um, Another font to match. Okay. So let's type in here Futura. It completed it already. And look at that. It's pretty close. I'll match it up. Looks like there's two spaces in the words there. And maybe a little bit of adjustment in the kerning. Look how close that is. Uh, if you don't know what kerning is, it's the space between the letters. So it looks like it's a little bit bigger, so let's, uh, too much. Let's just go down to, uh, <clears throat> and then you can see this is an exact, isn't a totally exact match. The O is a little more round. This one's a little flat, but it's really good. It saves a, a lot of time just sifting through fonts uh, by hand. It's a great uh, way to narrow down and streamline the process.